welcome back students so this is the fourth video of this playlist so in this video we will solve question number four of May 2024 paper of P3 okay so let's get started so basically question number four is from trigonometry and trigonometric double angle formulas that is discussed in P3 chapter number three and chapter number four of your textbook okay so what they have asked in question number four let's see f of x it is a function trigonometric function it's given 8 sine x cos x plus 4 cos squared x minus 3 so we need to write f of x in the form this form we need to represent f of x in this form so how can we do that let's see for part a so basically for this trigonometric questions definitely you should have clear idea about the trigonometric double angle formulas and uh, you should have idea you don't need to memorize them perfectly because uh, it's not mandatory to memorize if you can memorize defi definitely it's better it's better definitely it will help you to make to make the use very effectively with the, within no time okay so if you don't memorize it then you can get it from the formula booklet that, that is given in the p3 part of your formula booklet every formula is given there okay so what i say what why i said like uh, it will help if you memorize these formulas then it will make you to use the formulas in the respective question within no time it will help you to save your time okay so for this question part a a sine 2x plus b cos 2x that means we need to simplify f of x so how can we simplify 8 sine x cos x so 8 sine x cos x has to be transferred to sine 2x and cos square x to be transferred to cos twice of x so how can we do that let's see let's focus on the trigonometric double angle formula 8 sine x cos x 8 sine x cos x 8 sine x cos x can be written as 8 sine x cos x can be written as what look we will use this formula okay we can write 8 sine x cos cos x as 2 times sorry 4 times 4 times uh, 4 times 2 sin x cos x ok Wh why do we write this because we need to con convert it to sin 2x that's that's why ok and then plus we will put a plus there now we need to what simplify cos squared x cos squared x can be written as how look cos 2x cos 2x is basically what cos squared x minus what sine squared x sine squared x okay so now what we know uh, sine squared x can be written as 1 minus cos squared x so that means cos twice of x would be uh, cos squared x minus sine squared x so that would be 2 cos squared x minus 1 so from that just you just need to make cos square x the subject so you will get the substitution for cos square x so that would be what half of cos twice x cos twice x plus half this is the substitution we got for cos square x so coefficient of cos 2x was cos square x was 4 so right is as it is so 4 times what would be there cos 2x over 2 minus is it minus yeah, plus half plus half plus half okay plus half and then it is negative 3 so write it as it is okay now what we got there 2 sin x cos x is what sin 2x so 4 sin 2 twice x sin 
twice of x plus 4 over 2 this is what 2 cos twice x 2 cos twice x plus plus 2 4 times half this is 2 minus 3 this is negative 1 so we got the form as per asked in the question so a is 4 so a is 4 what is b b is what b is 2 and c it's what negative 1 that's it next part b use the answer to part a to write f of x in the form we need to write f of x in this form so how ca can we write uh, f of x in this form okay so this is basically transforming like we need to simplify the f of x again again using what trigonometric double angle formula so let's write it here we got f of x what is f of x f of x is given as what 4 sine 2 x 4 sine twice of x 4 sine twice x and then plus 2 cos x minus 1 plus 2 cos x minus 1 plus 2 cos x minus 1 so this is the equation for f of x now look how can we transfer it to r times sine 2x plus a so r times sine sine 2x plus a look r times sine 2x 2x plus a okay so how can we write this uh, plus plus a 2x plus a plus c plus c was there so plus c so sine 2x plus a can be written as what expand using double angle formula r sine twice of x twice of x cos a plus r cos twice of x sine a sine a then plus c okay sin 2x cos a plus r cos 2x sin a sin alpha there sorry it's not a it will be alpha okay no problem so now compare look sin 2x is there you got sin 2x there so that means co after comparison we can write what r cos alpha r cos alpha this is equals to what 4 r cos alpha equals to 4 because the coefficient of sin 2x is r cos alpha and here the coefficient of sin 2x is 4 and cos x there is it cos x or cos twice x I think it is cos twice x I wrote it wrong okay it is cos twice x okay so cos twice x the coefficient of cos twice x is what r sin alpha so r sin what sin alpha it is equals to 2 done now what we can do now do the ratio to get to eliminate r if you do the ratio r sine alpha over r cos alpha it will be 10 alpha just 10 alpha that would be equals to what half so now find the value for alpha the value for alpha would be 10 inverse half 10 inverse half is what so the value should be in radians I guess definitely it should be in radians okay so keep your mode of your calculator in radian so 10 inverse uh, 0 0.5 it's uh, basically 0 0.464 it's up to three significant figures this is 0 0.464 radians okay we got the value for alpha next is remaining r so you can find out the value for r using by squaring the r cos alpha and then adding it with r square sine square alpha why because we know that sine squared alpha plus cos square alpha is 1 so as you square them and add these two equations okay as you square them and add these two equation equations then sine square alpha plus cos square alpha will cancel out so what we can write for the value for alpha for the value for r so r square times what we can take r square common so sine 
squared alpha plus what cos square alpha so this is equals to what 4 square is, is what 16 like we are adding the right hand side by squaring them so 4 squared is what 16 and 2 squared is 4 so 16 plus 4 this is 20 okay so we got the value for r squared this is what r squared it is equals to what 20 so the value for r would be square root of 20 which is square root of 5 times 4 that means 2 square root of what 5 we got the value for r that's it so that's that means f of x can be written as what r that is 2 square root of 5 r cos what uh, r sin yes r sin r sin 2 twice of x plus what was the value for alpha 0 0.464 radian and at last the value for c it's remaining the value for c is what the value for c is negative 1 you can see so the value for c is what negative 1 c equals to what negative 1 that's it so we got the value for we got the form format for f of x as per asked in the question okay so for part c hence or otherwise state the maximum value of f of x okay we need to use the answer from part b to answer part c why because they said hence there okay so maximum value of f of x in part one okay so for, for finding the maximum value of f of x let's check the simplified equation of f of x in the simplified equation of f of x you can see that r is a constant c is a constant what is variable only the sign the trigonometric ratio sign it is the variable here so how it is how it varies it varies between negative 1 to positive 1 right the minimum value of sine theta is what negative 1 and the maximum value is positive 1 so what do you think for for which value of sine theta you will have maximum value of f of x this is definitely positive 1 so if sine theta is positive 1 then what you will get for part c 1 if f of x has to be maximum then sine theta is what 1 so it will be 2 square root of 5 then minus 1 this is the maximum possible value of what f of x fine now let's move on to the next part 2 so what they have asked in part 2 is that uh, we need to find the second smallest positive value of x right so small second smallest positive value of what x it's not the first smallest positive positive value you should keep in mind okay so for finding the x value for the maximum value of x like for which value of x you will get this maximum value that we find we that we found in the previous question okay so when we did find the maximum value of f of x what we considered we considered the value of sine 2x plus alpha right r is constant c is constant we just focused on the value of that trigonometric ratio that is sine 2x plus alpha so here for finding the second smallest positive value of x we will also focus on the value of what sine theta so sine 2x plus alpha should be what 1 in order to have the maximum value of f of x so what we need to equate sine what sine twice of x plus 0 0.6 sorry 464 0 0.464 464 alpha this is equals to what this is equals to 1 okay now the values of values of x should be in radians so sine inverse 1 is what 
0 0.4 we need to consider the positive values only so sine 0 degree is 0 0 radian is 0 right then sine pi pi radian is what sine oh they wanted 1 okay so sine 90 degree 90 degrees what pi over 2 sine pi over 2 radian is what 1 then sine what uh, 450 uh, there, there is 5 pi over 2 right like sine 0 radian is 0 pi over 2 radian is 1 pi radian is 0 again 3 pi over 2 radian is negative 1 and 2 pi radian is 0 and then 2 pi plus pi over 2 that is uh, 2 pi plus 1.5 0 0.5 pi that is 2.5 pi so 2.5 pi is 5 over 2 pi radian so this is 5 over 2 pi radian sign you can use your calculator to do so so 5 over 2 pi radian so do we need to go further no need because they wanted the smallest second second smallest positive x value okay so this is the first one this is the second one done okay now just find out the value of x make x the subject consider the what second one so it is 5 pi over 2 minus 0 0.464 over 2 so this is basically 3.695 so they wanted to how many decimal places they wanted three significant figures three sf okay so that should be 3.695 3.695 so if you uh, convert to two decimal place sorry three significant figure then it will be 3.70 up to three significant figures okay so that's it so we got the positive x value pi over 2 and 5 pi over 2 and then we considered the negative we considered the second one to get the value of x as per the question so that's all about question number 4 from may 2024 p3 paper